Hello all and thank you for joining on my talk about designing an uh, open educational resources platform to support continuous learning in all educational sectors. I'm Anna and I come from CSC IT Center for Science, which is a state and higher education institute owned uh, business that makes services for education and science. Um, I only have 10 minutes, so this is going to be a fast ride. But the slides are on the conference pa presentation page, and I hope that we can continue the discussion on the same page. And of course, if you want, uh, through email as well. Uh, to give a bit of background, um, open education or advancing open education might be a bit different in Finland than in other countries, uh, mostly because education in itself is uh, free in Finland. Uh, so. Um, affordability has not been such a big issue. Instead, we um, emphasize cooperation between teachers and educational levels and educational institutions and um, further and continuous education and enabling it. Open education as such is uh, quite new. Um, we have had many initiatives that work with similar issues, but do not call it uh, open education as such. But currently we have expert panel in open education that is, for open that is for higher education that does national policies and guidelines. And then we have the library of open educational resources that is a digital library for all educational sectors. We also have a very strong library network that does a lot on open education as well as open universities that have a lot of studies. Uh, for the background of library of open educational resources, uh, there are many uh, open educational resources in Finland, but they are scattered. So they are on personal blogs or elsewhere, and they're hard to find. And at the same, same time, we have many uh, initiatives for digitalization of education, which made it possible for us to start a joint infrastructure that connects all the educational levels and all the institutions therein. Uh, and also, uh, it was really important that all the educational sectors were there, because without it, we would not have enough uh, funding to have a national uh, infrastructure. So the Library of Open Educational Resources is a digital library. So it's a place to find open educational resources, and it's a place to share open educational resources, both the files and metadata. We also uh, emphasize on cooperation, so we have APIs and other functions that allow uh, open educational resources to be wherever uh, Finnish people study or uh, work. So, for example, with libraries and uh, learning management systems. One of our main functions is search, and for the search we, we have emphasized on uh, having a basic search as as well as narrowing possibilities. So we have one page for all educational levels, but if you want, you can straight go straight to, for example, uh, basic education or um, secondary education materials. Uh, we also have cur other curriculum aligned information. So for example, what sort of learning objects uh, does the OER teach? The idea is that you start here and you learn wherever you want to learn. So you can take the open educational resources with you as uh, downloads or as embed links. Um, it's also a base, place for sharing. So if you want to share your open educational resources, you download the files or the link and give us information on for what is it for the educational resource. We use learning resource metadata initiative metadata, uh, which is, uh, which has the curriculum information as well. And we get the curriculum infra information through Eperustet service, which is a service that was existing before us and enables us to have the curriculum information. We also have a flexible understanding of open educational resources, meaning that uh, one resource can have many files and it can have many different sort of files, so videos and texts and so on. We also try to find uh, ways to support open education resources otherwise. We have found that quality is a big question when supporting open educational resources. And for uh, we, our solutions are having custom curation tools and assessment tools so that the users can assess the quality. We also um, have 
We also embrace continuous development of open educational resources, and this we do through version history and references. And as I said, we want uh, the learning resources to be wherever learning is. So we, for example, have cooperation with Finna, Finna which is a uh, service for library uh, archive and museums that collects all the uh, information of these institutes to one view. So it, it has both open CLAM resources, open science resources and open educational resources in one view and also uh, API, APIs so that, it, that this information can be used elsewhere. So for the design, uh, as I said, we started as a joint effort between uh, educational institutions, educational levels, I mean, sorry. Uh, so that al already gave us the principles quite well. So we have stronger together, meaning that we try to find synergies between the educational levels and educational uh, institutions for continuous education, so that we also take con uh, in consideration those people that are not currently enrolled within an educational level, interoperability, so that we are one piece of puzzle that works for different kinds of services, and openly supporting open, meaning that all our materials and code uh, are to be or are already openly licensed. If something I want for you to uh, hear is cooperation. So I've already said it quite many times, but uh, for us, it has been one of the main points uh, to notice that we do not have a formal group of uh, representatives of different educational sec uh, institutions. Instead, we have different open ways to um, engage with different, different people from different educational institutions and levels. So how does the uh, continuous education and different educational le uh, levels, how is it shown in our service? Alvor, uh, one example is the metadata fields. Uh, so basically different educational levels have different curriculum information and they even have different ways of uh, addressing the same issues. Uh, for this, we try to have both educational specific information when possible and use a language that could be uh, joined between all, all of us. So, for example, when inputting metadata, you first choose your educational level and then you get fields that are specific for that level. But then if you uh, search for a specific educational subject, you get a field that says oppiaine tutkinto uh, or tietenala in Finnish, which translate educational to educational subject in English, which is a lot better word. But in Finnish, we don't have uh, an equivalent. So we use uh, words that uh, are uh, educational specific, but in a one sentence. Uh, Another example is, uh, well, actually the same. So it's further, furthering from the uh, search perspective. So as we did cooperation with different educational levels, uh, some people find it important that we would have basic education that AOE does see. So this sort of um, one minute that left. Are, please wrap that up. Are, yes, that are only for uh, one educational level, but as we did not want that, as we want the synergies, we have one view, but with the possibility to narrow it to different educational levels. I'm skipping this cooperation to wrapping it up uh, to say the final words. Yes, so what to learn from us? Uh, I think that it's important to survey the field. So there are existing differences and similarities that affect new services. and. I'm pretty sure that there can be examples that make it easier to uh, cooperate. So, for example, we have the e-perustet service where we get the information and we have had uh, many different projects that have been doing cooperation between different educational se se sectors and we can learn from them and we have learned from them. Uh, also, you should have an approach on compromises. So there is always a conflict between different groups. So you need to decide on which group to prioritize or what is the best solution for everyone. And of course, cooperate. 
And on that note, if you want to cooperate with us, um, there's oppimateriaalivaranto.csf.fi or my uh, own mail, which is anna.linfors at csf.fi. Thank you very much. Right. Thank very you. Very interesting uh, development in Finland. And then uh, the next session 